Hello everyone, welcome to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss how to write a unit test case for template driven form. In the previous video, where we discussed like how to write a unit test case for the reactive forms. So before proceeding with this video, I recommend please watch part 41 of this tutorial series. So let's see what is the template driven form. So template driven form basically use the two-way data binding to update the data model. Like in the component, if we are having a data model, then we uh, like we uh, like it use the two-way data binding. Or if we want to make any changes into the template side, so it happened like from the component to HTML and HTML to uh, component, it is happened with the template driven form. And apart from that, if we want to put any validation logic or some other logic, then what we have to do, we have to write everything into the HTML side. Uh, but in the reactive form like most of the validation we do in the component side so that's the basic difference between these two so template driven form are based only on the template directive while reactive form are defined programmatically at the level of the component classes so reactive form are better uh, default choice for new application as they are more powerful and easier to use so let's understand if we have the template form then how to write a unit test case for that so let's go to the visual studio and here basically like what i have done in this html page i have taken some controls so let's see like uh, so first i have taken here if you will see first of all i have this form here i have designed and this form name is the login form here and i have taken uh, two div and one is like the one form group is the email and here I have taken an input type and that is the here you can see it's an email address and for this one like I have defined a one model and if you will see that model so basically that model is the login model so this model I have defined here you can see this and here first of all like uh, uh, on the load what I have done this model I have initialized with the some default values here and if you will go in the html so same i am doing and for this email i am using this design like basically a pattern like it should be in correct format so for this one i have used and apart from that i have used the ng classes and here i am checking like this particular form is submitted it is an invalid valid so all those things i have checked i have assigned the id i have given the placeholder and then down here I am checking like that particular email address if it is touched then it is in like th this is in correct pattern or it is in required and similar to that one I have taken another div for the password and similar to that password I am using all the things like uh, if it is in um, like password is incorrect or not correct so I have taken all those things and then I have taken the one button and that is like here you can see so all the validation first I'm checking here and then I'm checking like this this is the ng model okay so this is the basically an agreement one that checkbox which we are having so for that one this is the control and here I'm checking the validation for that agreement and here I have taken a one button and in this button like uh, what we are doing on the submit we, we will submit all the control data on the component side so if you will go on the component side so first we have taken this view child so basically this view child we will can access into the um, like uh, testing side like in this uh, component dot specific dot uh, ts file and there we can see like we can get all the control value which we are having in the html and on the submit like as we did for the reactive form we are uh, like taking in one variable and then we are submitting and we are showing in the alert so similar that like if i will go on the browser so it look like this and here if you will come out and if enter so it is saying this is a not valid email address so let's put the valid email address here and give the password and if i will click on this save we can see all the information here so this is the way we have created this template driven form so now similar to that one we are going to design the unit test case so like for writing a unit test case for the template driven form first of all we have to import this form module and then like 
we will write the unit test case so first unit test case we will write for the email address since like this in this template ribbon form it's in two way data binding and we have seen in the previous video for reflecting the changes for the two way data binding we have to use the async and then fixture dot when stable that's why we are using this and here like previously what we are doing first we are taking the control for the user email one so this i have assigned if you will see here so this name i have assigned here so that i am getting here then i'm checking like this email is invalid and that is to be truthy because we didn't assign anything then it will be truthy and then i'm checking it is touched so to be false because we didn't assign any value to this one and then we are checking like it is in required field so that like it should be true because this email address is the required field so this test case we have written here now let's see what is the output for the same so we can see here all the test case is passing now if you will go on the browser and same we can see for the login component and we can see this template driven invalid form is also pass so this is the way we write the unit test case for the template driven form so basically what we do we get the email like first the control name and then as per our expectation we can uh, like uh, check like it is in valid one or not now what we will do another test case we will write with the valid email address so let's write that so here you can see like first what i have done like i have uh, detect the changes and i am using here like when stable so first like i am taking that particular control then i am going to set that value and then i am checking it is in valid and based on that i am checking it should be to be truthy so now it's currently 9 succeed with this test case it should be the 10 test case should be pass here so this like so what first we have taken the control then we have set the value then we are checking because we have set the value then it's in valid control and same we have checked here and we can see 10 test cases is passing and even on the browser we can see like valid email address is passing now another test case we will write on the submit button click so this is for submit button click so first like as we are using async then when stable then first of all we, by using the css we are taking that submit property like basically button and then what we are doing we have two controls like one is the email and another is the password so first we are setting those value then we are going to click on form submit so that you can see on form submit and then like we are clicking on detect changes and then like when we click on this on form submit we are assigning some value to the submit message so that same we are checking here and like if i will save at point of this time now 11 test case should pass so this is the way we write the unit test case for the template driven uh, form so generally like either it's in reactive form of the template driven form first you take that particular control then according to that you can write your test cases so now if we will go here we can see our test case is passing so this is the way of writing the unit test case for the template driven form if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you